All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakakadash, Devon, and today I was apostle, great millstone, who taught me the truth and Ruel, peace, blessing, and salutation to Akim out there, scattered about to the four corners of the earth, that's serving the truth and our true sincerity, to I say Shalom. As a brother Nabala come to you another video in the spirit. And the top of this video is going to be about we're not doing this for nothing, okay? Because we got to understand that us doing this work, you know, it's a reward at the end of this thing, okay? And, and we that should, that should be motivation to continue to push you to want to continue to do this work, you know, and be a part of this ministry, okay? That Because that reward, man. And that's because we don't fully, you know, understand it, you know, and, and know exactly what it is, you know, because all we can do is speculate. We understand that it is rewarded, this thing, you know, we do have scriptures, you know, to give us a little insight about it. Okay, but ultimately, you know, this is not for nothing, you know, especially in the times we're living now, you know, where prophecy is speaking. Okay, you can see these prophecies happen. Okay, that should be reassurance that, you know, that, you know, that, that this is the truth, man, you know, and that, you know, that the work that we're doing is, 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 is working basically. Okay. So let's continue to keep pushing and continue to keep uh, striving to, to go forward, you know, and, and to stay in this thing. That's the main thing, man. You know, cause things are getting to wrap up, you know, you know, the MOTB, you know, is here, you know, they're, they're putting, they're, they're, they're getting ready to, to really fully launch that thing, man. So, you know, they're talking about um, cyber attacks, you know, which ties into, you know, the family of the work, you know. If when if it's a complete blackout out here, you know, it's a lot of stuff that's going to come with that, you know. So you just got to prepare yourself for that. But ultimately understand that, you know, all this work that we've done all the way up to this point, you know, it is a reward at the end of this thing as long as we continue to endure and, and hold on to the end. I'm going to grab this. This is Hebrews 6 and 10. It says, For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shewed toward his name. And in, and in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do shew the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end kind. So Yahweh is not, he's not going to forget, you know, our work, okay? Okay, he's like everything we're doing, you know, is being watched and being recorded, man. And and you know, the Lord is watching. Okay, he's know who who's truly out here doing the work, man. You know who's who whose heart truly is in this thing, who's who's truly rooted in this thing. The Lord knows, man. Okay, he knows the one who's truly, you know, seeking, you know, seeking him. You know, and seeking to get up out of here. You know, the Lord knows who those men are. Okay, so he's not he's not gonna let their work be in vain. I'm gonna grab that. This is uh first Corinthians fifteen and fifty eight. It says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always unbounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Con our, our labor is not in vain, man. You know? It says that it says be steadfast, be unmovable. We gotta be unmovable in this thing. We can't let nothing that you know is getting thrown at us, you know, shake us. Okay, we gotta be rooted. You know, we gotta be grounded, man. You know, no matter how hard it get, man. No matter what, uh, what thoughts Satan try to pin in your head, man. You gotta rebuke those thoughts, man. You gotta continue to keep going, man. No matter if you fuck up, man. You gotta truly, truly repent, man, and and continue to keep moving forward, man. You know, that's just the main thing. Continue to keep moving forward. It says always abounding in the work. We got to always be abounding in the work, man. And that's the main thing. You know, you got to force yourself to do it sometimes, man. Because you understand we always fight against this flesh, man. The scriptures say the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We always fight against this flesh, man. But one thing that I heard a brother say recently is um, we have to, we have to, really depart from this place man we really gotta just like spiritually depart from this place and the scriptures talk about that 
and uh, Micah 2 and 10. And we have to really depart from this place, man. We have no ties to this place. The only thing we're worried about is being, uh, is is doing the work. Okay, and, and and when you're when you're when you got that mindset, when you're focused on just doing the work, man, then you then then you understand, you un, you understand that what you're doing, you know, is is something that's gonna come after it, as long as you continue to keep doing it. And that's the main thing. Uh, I'm gonna come over here. This is First Corinthians two and nine. It says, "But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard." Neither have entered into the heart of men the things which I would have prepared for them that love me. Yeah, it says, I have not seen nor ear heard. Okay, we can, you know, eyes have not seen, you know, what fully, you know, Yahweh Shem Shai has in store for us, nor has ears, you know, heard it. You know, we just have speculation. You know, we have, you know, idea, like I say, from the scriptures, but we don't truly understand or know what it is. But the fact that we do know is something after that should be enough, you know, continue to keep going. Okay, and we just gotta continue to keep fight. The fight's gonna get harder and harder, man. That's the main. That's the, that's that's a part of this thing, man. Is the fight. Okay, but we understand that every as long as we continue to keep fighting, as long as we continue to keep enduring, you know, and keep striving to to please and do the will of Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai, man. He's gonna he's gonna do his part for us, and that's all we can do at the end of the day. And that's where faith kicks in. We gotta have faith. And as long as we hold on to that faith and don't waver, you know, the Lord got us. I'm going to grab this one last scripture. Is it Second Corinthians uh, four, four and eighteen? It says, "While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal." So we're looking at, the, so we're focused on the things that are not seen, man. Okay, that's where our mindset is. Okay, we're not, we're not worried about the things we can see. That's the way the people work, and and that's just wrong. People think because they don't. They can't. They don't see the reward. Or they don't see the reward right in their face. That they don't think it is one. No, it is one. Okay, but it's what it's stored up for us in heaven, man. It's stored up for us at the end, man. It's stored up for us to 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 Lord willing, we get delivered in those chariots, man. That's that's where it's stored up for us at. But until then, what we gotta continue to keep going because the Lord not just gonna give this to anybody, man. The Lord has to try us. He has to try his men, man. He had to make sure that, you know, the scripture said, give diligence, make your calling election sure, man. You got to be diligent. You got to make sure that, you know, that you're really about this, man. That you're really all in, man. You know, he's not about to give, he's not about to give this to no, to no, I'm just going to say like this, no half-ass nigga out here, man. You got to be all in with this thing. And it's just that simple. Okay. But knowing that, but knowing that, that just because you don't, you, you don't see it right away or you don't see the award right away doesn't mean that you stop. Okay? That should, that should just give you motivation to continue to keep going, man. And and that's it. So, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm going to close off everyone. I praise to Yahweh, 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 Yahwe